Okay, so I want to be real for a sec. I don't like hood movies the same way that I used to. I used to think they were these films that just featured people who didn't give a shit and lived by their own rules. They were respected through their neighborhoods and I thought it was cool. But after revisiting many of these movies as an adult to cover on this channel, some in which I hadn't seen since I was a kid, I've realized I simply don't like them like that anymore. Now with that being said, I think I like them even more. But for very different reasons, I appreciate the stories they tell and their perspectives in which they choose to tell them through, which is often the minority perspective that would probably otherwise go unnoticed if it wasn't for these big screen adaptations. But what separates the really good hood movies from the rest is their ability to provide a message within the plot or educate those same people who may not be familiar what's going on in these less fortunate neighborhoods and why. But perhaps just as important, they have the power to educate those who do live in these hoods and maybe are thinking of a life in the streets. I don't want to diminish any of these hood classics by simply calling them cautionary tales, but there is an aspect of deterrence from this lifestyle many of them attempt to depict. And one of the best examples of this comes from the 2002 film Paid in Full, but more specifically the real life events that inspired the movie. So today, we're going to dive into the movie Paid in Full, but also examine why the true story should matter. But before we get into it, I just wanted to really quickly say, please don't hesitate to hit that subscribe button if you like what I do here. And also, hit the like button while you're there, as that helps this video be seen so I can continue getting content like this out for you guys. Anyways, let's jump right back into it. So in order to paint the full picture, I have to start by summarizing the film, and I'm going to do this pretty quickly, so bear with me. Paid in Full tells the rags to riches story of two friends, Ace and Mitch. Mitch is already well known throughout Harlem for his flamboyant lifestyle and the money he has. He rides around in some of the dopest cars, wears some of the freshest clothes of the time, and above all else, he's pretty respected throughout his neighborhood. His close friend Ace, on the other hand, works at a laundromat and is seemingly unimpressive compared to Mitch. Now this doesn't last long because Ace soon comes upon some Coca-Cola and starts selling it himself eventually. Especially after Mitch gets locked up, Ace sort of becomes the man and he begins supplying the neighborhood. Mitch gets out of jail and introduces Ace to Rico, someone Mitch met in jail who, despite being a loose cannon, instantly professes his loyalty to both Ace and Mitch and becomes an integral part of their crew, the third member if you will. The three men practically run Harlem at this point, and if all of this is beginning to sound too good to be true, it's because it is. Paid in Fool is a movie that perfectly shows both sides to the street gang. During their rise to fame, a lot of shit happens. Ace gets ambushed and shot in the head and other places, and although he survives, three of his family members are executed in the next room. As for Mitch, his little brother is abducted shortly after his release from prison, and then he himself is murdered by the very people he trusted to help get his little brother back. And if you don't know or haven't put this together, their friend Rico is the one who kills him. Rico ends up going to prison, and if you ask me, no amount of hip-hop music, cool clothes, and cars can drown out the depressing tone of this movie. Now, if you know how films claim to be based off of real events, but like only 10% of the film actually is, that's pretty much not the case with this movie. Paid in Full is based on the real lives of AZ Faison, Rich Porter, and Alpo Martinez, a well-known and documented crew who did indeed run Harlem throughout the 1980s. The movie is told mainly from the perspective of Ace, who is AZ Faison in real life. And while some liberties are taken, the movie appears to be relatively faithful. For example, 
AZ really was shot nine times during a robbery, including a shot to the head. Six others were also shot in this event, with three of them unfortunately losing their lives in the process. The character of Mitch is based off of Rich Porter, a well-known hustler in Harlem who eventually really was killed by Rico, or Alpo Martinez in real life. The murder did happen while Rich was attempting to earn some extra money to get his brother back, who really was abducted in real life. And to make matters worse, Rich Porter's little brother would never make it home, as he was eventually and unfortunately murdered by his captors, which included one of Rich's and his little brother's uncles. The lives and stories of these individuals can be read about or listened to with first-hand perspective because these perspectives exist from both AZ and Alpo, respectively. They can be found here, right here on YouTube, both admitting to and detailing their life story. And while I don't know anyone involved or affected by these events personally, I can say that the true story surrounding these individuals is heartbreaking, to say the least. So for me to point out that hood movies are more than just movies would be an understatement. A lot of the shit we see on screen actually happens. As someone born and raised in California and who has seen firsthand gang life and the gang activities that are associated with it, I can tell you how real it is. While movies like Boys in the Hood and Menace to Society show how the effects of racism and how it's connected to poverty and gang violence and a life of crime and how hard it can be to escape that life, Paid in Full chooses to focus on the very human aspects of greed and envy and paranoia and how these things also play a role in a life of crime, especially when the success does hit. It shows that it isn't always a rival gang or crew like in other hood movies that's trying to get you. Instead, that it could be your own friends and even family. With this being said, Paid in Full was and still is an influential film. When it came out, rappers praised it and street people and everybody praised it. Those who loved hood movies, they loved the characters and they held it in such high regard in almost a similar way that they did Scarface. They would dress like the characters and I've even seen some paid in full themed birthday parties online too. But we can't forget that there was an entire generation of older rappers and individuals who were influenced by or knew of the real men that this movie is based on. And I'm a huge fan of old school 90s and 80s hip hop myself. And I re remember hearing some of these names and some of these individuals being mentioned in their music. So naturally, when the film came out and I got to see the actual dudes they were referencing, it made the film stand out even more to me. However, it also showed that no matter all of the glitz, glamour and respect that these men had, it ultimately all meant nothing as only one of the trio is still alive till this day and a whole list of others who were in their circle have either gone to prison or have been murdered. And if you don't take anything else from this video, take that the film is ultimately telling us that even when a life of crime does lead to success, that success may only be temporary. And while the film does make this message quite clear, Nothing hits harder than reality, and that's why the true story of Paid in Full should matter. So in my opinion, Paid in Full is one of the best biopics out there, but it's also one of the most slept on and underrated. And I think a lot of this is due to its modest budget and a lack of press during its release. It never quite garnered the attention it deserved, especially commercially but it's definitely a cult classic for many. It's one of the few hood films that has a fairly deep message, but in addition, it's acted remarkably. I mean, Mackay Pfeiffer and Wood Harris give all-time great performances, but honestly, it's Cameron's Rico who steals the show here. Now, I'm not even sure if Cameron had acted before this movie, but he was so believable it's kind of concerning now that I think about it. 
Now I do have a couple knocks on the film, however, with one of them being the dialogue. It's not the best written film, and also the cinematography and direction aren't really anything to write home about. Also, some of the dramatic liberties taken feel a bit unnecessary. When you take into consideration, the true story is fascinating enough on its own. But besides this, it's a highly entertaining movie with some truly shocking scenes and memorable performances. It has a great message and it remains one of my favorites personally of all time. And for that, I give Paid in Full an 8 out of 10. Anyways, enough about what I think. Let me know what you guys think about Paid in Full. Do you like it? Do you hate it? How does it rate amongst your favorite hood movies or films in general? Leave a comment below and if you haven't already, hit that subscribe button for your boy. And don't forget to like the video while you're there. The channel is continuously growing and I think maybe we can even get to 3,000 subscribers soon with your help. Anyways, I can't thank you all enough. Check out some of my other videos. I'm pretty sure they're being displayed on this video right now at the top. And I'll catch you guys all on the next one.